all right guys what is up uh whether you guys are seeing this on youtube or twitter it doesn't really matter to be completely honest it it's gonna be on both there's gonna be a shortened version for twitter longer version for youtube uh if you don't want to watch this i completely understand you don't have to if i've you know if you don't watch me anymore you do whatever it doesn't matter uh i appreciate you guys sorry for taking so long uh to make this video i was really putting it off and i know a lot of i see it's funny i see a lot of content creators do stuff like this and streamers and, and it always is like why are you making this video so late but like i get it i'm putting it off and I don't know why I'm putting it off, but I'm really stressed. And I wish I wasn't as stressed as I was. But it's stressed from a lot of things. It has nothing to do with, like, the main issue. I mean, I guess it does. Whatever. Cut that part out. Whatever. Point is, um, we'll probably have a shortened version of this to put down for Twitter. So I'll probably post it on both. But this will be for the YouTube. So I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to try to look in the camera as much as possible, as much as I don't like that. Um, so I have... It's going to be an update video. And I'm going to just be letting you guys know my situation, what's going on with me. It's nothing crazy, but there's a lot going on in my life right now. And it's nothing like bad or negative it's all like first world problem type shit but it is stuff that's going on with me so i'm just trying to inform you guys so whoever's editing this feel free to cut it down as much as possible uh for my update i, I made a little list i probably don't need it. it's only like five things my current situation current situation um i don't really know what to talk about i mean i'm moving in 13 days to an apartment in philadelphia with my friend which is gonna be really cool but i'm stressing out about that because i haven't moved out of my house i've been living here streaming this setup you know for three of the last four years I've been streaming. It's pretty much been the same like background, same look ish. So uh, it's going to be weird. It's going to be different. That's not a big issue. I don't mind that. It's going to be, I'm excited. Hopefully the internet works. Hopefully there's no issues in getting everything set up. <clears throat> but my main things, my main points are like, I get a lot of questions every day about Fortnite. I think this main video is going to this, the main point of this video, the main chunk of this video is going to be me talking about Fortnite and what is going on with it and what's going on with me in that game. Because I have been streaming, like I said, for about four years. And I think my four-year anniversary was half a month ago, sometime mid-April, like April 17th or something like that. April 16th is when I first went live four years ago. And I've pretty much played Fortnite uh, throughout that entirety, throughout the entire time. And uh, there's nothing harder for a streamer or a content creator than playing a new game. And as much as that sound might sound like really dumb, um... It, it, it is a real like issue. It's a real scare. It's freaky. It's not normal. Like, especially when you build your audience, I gained 140 something for thousand followers on this app on Twitter, uh, 150,000 subs on YouTube, pretty much strictly posting Fortnite. So when you switch it up a little bit, it's a scary thing for me. And I think I've been learning. I, I, I take after a lot of the people I've watched do it before me. Nick Burks being like the main guy where it's like, I've watched him go from gear. I didn't watch him go from gears to COD, but he went from gears to COD threw through a bunch of viewership away and, and watched that happen build his way up again you know what i mean to work his way up i did not think i was going to talk this much so i'm sorry i'm just going to get it all out i don't care how long this video is um but yeah i watched him go for i use him as an example all the time in terms of someone to look up to when it's when you switch games or when something happens that's a big change in your life while streaming um for me he's the perfect person because he lost viewership and gained it all back going from gears to call of duty and at call of duty i used to watch him like crazy and he went from like I think like a couple thousand viewers, 4,000 subs. So he's at where I was in Fortnite pretty much. And then he quit Call of Duty out of the blue when Fortnite came out. And he lost a bunch of viewers and subs again. And then he built it back up to 50,000 viewers, stuff like that, hundred thousands of viewers, depending on what's going on. And they did the same for Warzone. Now he's doing the same for Apex. So I use him as like the father figure here, the example for me. And I think everyone should take is like, if you're not happy doing something, you need to switch it up and it's better for you in the long run and i think while not everyone is that nick merckx-esque example like not everyone's him not everyone can maintain an audience on different games um i have confidence in myself to do that and i always have like when i became a streamer the first time i i had confidence in confidence in myself playing fortnite and confidence in myself building a stream in fortnite and interacting with people and building community and you know making friends so i'm very confident in that way and i still am so i don't have as much fear as i feel like i should but i you know it's still scary switching games but I get the question every day and it's like why did you stop playing fortnite and what led you to play apex every day like what's your thing what's going on because it is like i said i, I haven't really made an announcement and this is kind of going to be that announcement of like why did you step away from fortnite the game that made you the game that you blew up on and everything to and you sacrifice viewership you sacrifice subscribers and money like financial issues you know what i mean it, it does really sacrifice it takes a hit with everything and i completely understand that and i think it just the game this is where i'm kind of going to talk about the game a little bit because it genuinely blows my mind and i think a lot of competitive players are going to understand where i'm coming from here and maybe a lot of content creators or casual players won't understand where i'm coming from here i'm a competitive gamer competitive person i've always game competitively no matter what i've played 
and um over the last like four years of Fortnite, like i watched it go uphill significantly and become amazing around world cup time and then i've since world cup time i've pretty much watched that game that everyone loved it was an all-time high whether that's prize pool meta the amount of enjoyment in the game um i've watched that game fall from its graces entirely like it genuinely ever since the start of chapter three i think i have not i i just don't have the same level of enjoyment for the game I, at the end of chapter two i was playing apex and or like call of duty a little bit on the side and my teammates knew that that i played with like trash and lazar uh, nqs and yuz knew that i played other games on the side and that i enjoyed other games but it was never like a thought for me to stop playing fortnite it was never like oh i'm not gonna play fncs oh i'm not gonna play cash cups like i'm gonna play the cash cups every time they happen i'm gonna stream fortnite every day and i wasn't hating it to that point chapter three came out and I actually somehow convinced myself that I was extremely excited for chapter three. I, it, it was like, I was like, wow, like I am going to grind hard, new map, new POIs. I'm going to learn it all. It's going to be great. And the game comes out and it's like, it's, it has, I've never seen a game go as far backwards as Fortnite has. And that's just in terms of competitive play. Like I cannot, you work so hard to grind for your mechanics or for your, uh, you know, your learning knowledge of the game. And then they just bring out cheesy, corny things. Right now, it's been a glitch in the game for forever. If you touch your, I used to play keyboard for Surge in game. And if I touch my keyboard right now in game, uh, I lose aim assist. So I have to like do some weird settings thing to get my aim assist back. I think if you touch vending machines, you lose aim assist. I mean, that's ridiculous, first of all. If you touch your keyboard by accident, if your desk moves and your keyboard shakes, you lose aim assist. So for me, that's ridiculous. I can't deal with that. I'm not dealing with that. Um, and not only that, but the meta, like the whole chapter one, it was submachine guns. And I don't think, I think the last time submachine guns were meta was when aim assist was broken. And that just shows how great subs are right now in the game because aim assist isn't even as broken as it was. People might be cheating some people, but who cares about that? Like aim assist isn't even as broken as it was. And sub meta is all over the place. It's the first time in competitive Fortnite I think I've ever seen people not run shotgun. Sometimes they run AR sub or they run double sub or it's sub sub shoddy. Like it used to be AR shotgun. I think that's the most balanced meta for the game and it always will and always has been. And I know people like switching it up, but for me, it just doesn't, it's not competitive to switch it up it's the way fortnite is it's the nature of fortnite you build you shoot someone they build you have to get up close and then the close range fight is where the skill comes in and it just is so not skillful and even if there's people that are better than me or better than anyone with the sub it doesn't mean they're it's just not the same type of skill that i fell in love with in the game and i think it just as, as much as i love fortnite i love epic you know it, it it kills me to keep playing this game and keep forcing myself to play this game that doesn't care about me in any way and i know they don't have to care about me and i know that might sound super entitled but it kills me playing this game all the time um and just not having you know any support competitively uh i love it i i've loved it and chapter three comes out and it, it's probably the worst it's ever been for me and then chapter three season two comes out and they add another submachine gun after a full season of people complaining about the subs being broken they had another sub cars are going crazy i know they just nerfed some stuff they nerfed cars fire who cares it's too late it's just too late. I love Fortnite. I love what the game's done for me. And I'm forever grateful. And I don't think I plan on quitting Fortnite per se. Like, I'm probably going to play FNCS. You know, I, I, you know, I'm going to play FNCS. I'm going to play some cash cups, maybe. I know I haven't played a cash cup yet. I'm not even in champs, which is sad to say, because I didn't expect this. I didn't, just as much as you guys, I really did not expect to, um, to just randomly cold turkey kind of stop playing Fortnite, you know? I didn't even expect to talk for this long about Fortnite, but it blows my mind where the game's gone. And like, I have so many things to talk about. I could talk for hours on this topic. So, I mean, it, like when you see people playing creative or playing, um, what's it called? When you see people playing arena, it's like sarcastic titles because they're not having fun and arena is not fun. I've made countless videos on arena revamp because we are desperate for something to be competitive. The competitive scene, it wants a competitive side of the game. And for some reason, Epic, just continues to not deliver on competitiveness and then when on like any promises they've made competitively and the game just keeps going downhill and i'm sorry to say it like i i think i finally without realizing it become absolutely sick of fortnite a as a whole i think it's just deteriorated over time my mental has gotten worse and worse and like i used to be this like super like happy friendly like i not not necessarily happy friendly you know whatever you know me like you know i used to be this like i used to have a lot more energy playing fortnite and i i found that recently when i played it was just just not the same man it just wasn't as fun and, and i've 
casually switch to Apex full time without even realizing. And that's a big thing for a streamer to switch games. And, and you know, it, a lot of people realize, like you see my viewer count, it's gone from like probably, you know, I could have, I've had thousands in Fortnite to less than a thousand on Apex at most times. But you know, I think for my own well being, playing something I enjoy every day, I think this is my, in four years of streaming, I've streamed probably an average of 300 hours a month. And if you guys know how many, that's like 10 hours a day. I think that's on average for my four years. I think I broke my current record this month. I think it's like 370 or something like that in the last month. Playing Apex. And this is like a bad map right now. You know, people don't even like this current Apex map that I'm playing. And I'm enjoying it more than I am playing Fortnite, which I think says a lot. And it's, like I said, it's no hate to Fortnite. It's no hate to my friends still playing Fortnite. I love those guys. I love everyone who plays it. I've met some great people. I've met some great friends. And I don't know what this video means, but I'm just trying to give you guys a little update into my my life and how I feel um, in my stream and everything like that and all that stuff. So I, I think I'll be done talking about Fortnite, but it just blows my mind how far backwards that game has gone. Uh, and you expect it to go forwards when you enjoy a game and there's a lot of, lot of love for it and everyone's playing it. But for some reason, they've only gone downhill and it's sad. It makes me sad. And I think, you know, it makes me not want to play it as much. But yeah, I guess the next question is the Apex thing. I, I have written down, why are you playing Apex every day now? And I think it's just a goal. I think I have a goal in this game. It's like being a top player in another game or being like at least hitting the top ranks of another game consistently, which I can definitely do now. Like it's like very to me, it's just the rank system, which every believe it or not, if you come from Fortnite and you're listening to this, they have up they update their rank system like they are changing the rank system season by season trying to make it better for the players and more competitive for the players and they're trying to listen and as much as the apex community might give the apex devs shit about their rank system it's far better than fortnite's it, it far outweighs fortnite currently fortnite has no rank system in it pretty much whatsoever arena mode is basically just pubs with a with slightly better players and a number next to your name that goes up indefinitely with no rewards whatsoever there's literally no rewards for hitting a high re high rank in Fortnite, and that's what blows my mind. In Apex, they're getting better. I think, the, and I, it's just something to grind, you know? I'm a gamer at heart, and I think the, the main example, the main thing I use for this um, is like, <clears throat> before I was a streamer, and a lot of you guys probably feel the same way, before I was a streamer, I used to get on and play FIFA, and I'd get sick of FIFA after three, four days in a row, maybe a week, two, a month, who even cares? Maybe a year. I'd be bored, and i want to play a new game, and I would play a new game. And I'd have a lot of fun on that new game. And my life would go on and I'd, I'd have a, I'm a gamer, you know, I'm a like casual or competitive, didn't matter. Like I, if I wasn't enjoying a game, I could quit cold turkey and not have anyone to like update. And I wouldn't have to care about switching games. It was like a thing because as a gamer, you play what you're having fun playing. And I think streaming and a lot of people don't want to talk about this or don't talk about this. I think streaming is a very like dangerous thing because it forces you almost into some niche category where you feel like you have to play a certain game for your livelihood and i'm lucky enough to have an incredible community like truly probably the, one of the best communities on twitch without question i know everyone says that about theirs but i love like i genuinely love mine i love talking to people that come to my stream and it it's like i can still do what i enjoy and make a living out of it sort of like and and have fun playing apex and other games my community is always there for me like there's certain people that always have my back like and I think that's really cool, but it, it, it is anti-gamer in a way to lock yourself down to a certain game for years on end, especially when you're not having fun. Because like I said before, I was a streamer, a gamer. If I didn't like a game, if I didn't like FIFA, I'd play Rocket League. If I didn't like Rocket League that day, I'd, I'd play Call of Duty. If I didn't want to play Call of Duty that day, I'd play Destiny. If I didn't want to play Destiny, I'd play CSGO. You know what I mean? I was, it was just, you, you'd hop from game to game depending on the day. Some days you didn't want to play FIFA. Some days you didn't want to play MLB, Madden, 2K. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, I think it is anti-gamer to stream one game all the time. It, 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 may, it takes the fun away from gaming, takes the joy out of that game because you feel like you have to play it. And for about four years straight, three, four years straight, I played pretty much, I think three and a half years, I played pretty much strictly Fortnite. And I think that's absurd. I can't believe I've been talking for this long. I'm so sorry if you've left. If you've left, who cares? Whatever. Point is a big update. Um, behind the scenes, I've been having a couple issues as well. Uh, this has nothing to do with my Fortnite or Apex. Hopefully I gave you guys a good update with what I'm doing. I don't really have too much future plans for either of those. I'll just end it off by saying like, I'm playing what I enjoy and that's that. If I don't want to stream Apex and I want to get on stream Fortnite, I'll stream Fortnite. If I don't want to stream Fortnite and I want to get on play Apex, I'll play Apex. If a new game comes out, I want to play that new game. And I don't want to have to worry and have these responsibilities of like, oh, I got to scrim every day. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do what I want to do and hopefully you guys can understand that and, and fully get that. 
now behind the scenes this is like a fully thing i, I wasn't even planning on talking about this for this video because it has nothing to do with you guys really it's a lot on my end but um so i've been having some youtube issues a lot of people are saying why aren't you posting anymore because i was doing daily for like a month and they were daily fortnite videos when i would get on stream and i play apex for for 10 hours and i would i would upload i would wake up i'd come back from the gym or even before the gym i don't even know i'd wake up and i'd play Fortnite off stream and record a youtube video or four youtube videos and for about a month and a half i had pretty much daily videos i think 50 60 daily videos 40 50 maybe of Fortnite. and i was not enjoying Fortnite at the time i wasn't playing i was playing apex on stream every day but i would record Fortnite videos before stream and I, it got to a point where after a month and a half of doing it, I was like, why am I doing this? Like, I love the YouTube growth and I love the game of YouTube of posting daily and like trying to one up yourself with content. But I think my content is not the best when I play Fortnite. Like, I think it's, it, I truly enjoy myself when I play games that I want to play or do things that I want to do. And forcing myself to upload Fortnite for 40, 50 days straight uh, when I'm not even playing the game on stream every day is insane. I mean, that's legitimately truly insane. And I was doing it. So we stopped uploading fully because I got, I stopped recording and that's on me fully. I, I kind of screwed my YouTube over, but it's okay. Uh, I think now our plan with YouTube is to upload whatever I play. So if I'm playing Apex, if I'm playing Fortnite, if I play Overwatch 2 that just came out, if I play some farming simulator, house builder, if I play a scary game, I'm going to upload a scary game. I want my YouTube channel to be of me and to entertain you guys and if you guys are one game andy's then you're one game andy's if you only want to watch me play fortnite watch my fortnite youtube videos if you only want to watch me play apex watch my apex youtube videos if you like watching me play scary games watch the scary like i want people to be on this stream and be on this channel for me and if you're not here for, and, and me playing games and interacting with you guys it's, i should say not just for me but like i just if you don't want to watch certain videos that's completely fine by me i'm just going to upload what i do and what i play if i'm enjoying playing apex for a month i'm going to upload apex for a month if i just play a casual fun game on the side i'm gonna upload that casual fun game on the side and i hope you guys can understand that because it is really difficult to talk about this because at the end of the day it does come down to your livelihood on twitch your livelihood and in in everything like it comes down it directly affects your income to switch what you're doing and i and i'm switching this channel from a the youtube channel from a fortnite youtube channel to a Palazzo youtube channel to a cole youtube channel you know what i mean like it's mine and i want it to be mine no matter what if i want to play a game i'm gonna upload that game you know what i mean I think we're gonna get back to daily videos soon. I'll keep you guys updated on that 100%. Maybe I'll make a new video when I have a schedule and I'll talk about the new schedule before I start uploading. We'll see. Um, so that's basically why the YouTube stopped uploading. But the last thing I have to talk about, which has been stressing me out to no end, is all the things from Christmas that I... I don't even know if I should talk about this. Where do I even begin? I've been stressing like crazy because I did a Christmas giveaway. If you guys aren't aware, I mean, you could throw a clip in there, whoever edits this, like if you want of me just giving away or just put it under me talking, me just giving away. I, I spent about $13,000 during Christmas just to give you guys gifts and give my, give people gifts for my stream through Amazon wish list. I think I gave away like 30 something scuffs, like a ton of G fuel. I think I gave away my own merch, like $10,000 worth of my own merch just because that people won random raffles in my stream. And we've had a lot, a lot, a lot of issues that I had never seen before. I've never dealt with before. I've done like little Christmas giveaways before, but like the year before they were on Amazon wishlist. So everyone just got their, uh, their gifts like right away because I bought them straight off Amazon. This year I decided to go through my own merch company to give you guys gifts. And I went through Scuff and G Fuel and there's been a lot of COVID technical issues like, you know, slash covid slash technically there's been a ton of issues and i know some people haven't got their stuff and I, I if you're one of those people i'm so sorry i think i think pretty much everyone's gotten their merch i think people are starting to get their scuffs i think half the people have got their jeeves or something like that and i had issues that i've never expected before none of my friends have got their merch i just got my merch which is sick because I, I genuinely love it it's so nice but it took me four months to get my own merch if that doesn't tell you guys the issues i've gone through that i plan on never going through again um i'm sure that'll help clear things up so just so you guys understand, like I've been kind of behind the scenes dealing with a lot of stuff. Like it's nothing serious, but it is stressful in the back of my mind. I always have people saying, where's my merch? Where's my this? Where's my that? Like, and I'm doing my best, man. I really am. And I, I, I need to be doing better. And I think a lot of times to succeed in the future, you have to fail. And I think the YouTube channel stopping uploading is a good thing because it might be a bad thing in the short term, but I think it made me realize that I shouldn't be posting Fortnite strictly. And I think the Christmas issues 
I think we'll have them sorted out. We'll deal with a new merge company or whether it's whether or not it's the same merge company or not, we'll have it be much smoother process between giving it away, buying it, uh, the, the drop dates. We'll have everything sorted out. We'll have a new promotional video. The point is you got to do something. You got to mess up to improve in the future. And I think that's like my current motto. Like you kind of you, you fail until you learn to succeed. And I'm going to keep doing that and keep improving in every way. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I think I just talked for 20 minutes straight. I, I really thought I was going to make this like a three minute video and upload to Twitter and it's going to be completely different now. It's probably going to be the I, I wouldn't even mind if you kept the whole video. Uh, whoever's editing with maybe small jump cuts if I like hard stutter or something, but hopefully that's enough. Hopefully I've updated you guys properly. Like I said, we'll have a new YouTube schedule soon. Whoever's watching this on YouTube, if you're watching the shorter version of this on Twitter, I hope nothing gets cut out like crazy and you guys don't miss anything that I really want you guys to say or want you guys to hear. Um, just know that like, I appreciate you guys, man. Like switching games has been terrifying, but in like a good way because it's like a wake up call. It's like, you can't play Fortnite forever and you can't, it's not human to want to play the same game forever. And I think I'm a gamer, I'm a streamer, content creator, pro player, whatever you want to call me, whatever you know me as, I think I'm just going to keep trying to improve myself and my content and everything and just keep going up. Like I'm not really worried about viewers. I'm not really worried about sub count or anything. I appreciate the people who, who rock with me, who still are, who still fuck with me. And you know, I, I love a lot of you guys, seriously. I just wanted to I, make sure you guys were updated properly on my situation just so you guys know what's going on because I know there's been a ton of questions recently and some of you guys might not care and that's completely fine but I just wanted to let you guys know love you guys man I uh, will see you guys in the next stream next YouTube video I think I got everything this is a hard video to make put this off for a long time. all right peace out guys